Rob Roscoe. I got the camera around the um, selfie way around. Now, winter here in Australia still. Going to be that. Uh, what is it? One more month of winter. So, about due for a beard trim video. So, look out for that coming up soon. Got myself a. 4x gold now on my other channel Rob Roscob channel is where I put all my um, more controversial videos on there <laughs> I haven't got many subscribers on there I had a few but uh, it's good to have a backup channel when you're talking about governments and um, other things. It's nice to have a backup channel just in case uh, you do get banned, and it's it's inevitable. Lots and lots of people are getting banned these days for having their say. You really got to dig deep into the news, and uh, well, on YouTube, of course. All the news channels are all just coming up first, and it's just the same boring shit, you know, that they push with the um, protests there. Always one-sided, always only ever show that when the time when the police are getting attacked, but not what happened beforehand. Right? The right to protest. Australia's got a constitution where we have a right to protest, a and they, they make a bylaw saying, oh. But that's, you have to get permission, and you have, what? So, your right to protest is gone again, if you've got to get permission to protest. That's stupid, though. They bring out these bylaws and things to try and, just to stop you again. So, if you were, if you were to, for instance, if you were to say, we're going to have a protest for the lockdown in Sydney, for instance, or even in Queensland, where I am. Okay, we'll put the application in. We get we we'll probably have about five thousand people. Or blah blah blah. All of a sudden, now you put that application in. Now you now you, now you have to start. Um, if you're an organizer, well, but the thing is, the, the the people. If it's just a people thing, who is the organizer? There's no organizer, and that's the best way to do it because oh, oh you got to get um, insurance. Uh, you got to get um, pay for some security. Are you to do this? Do that. Uh, traffic control you gotta you gotta, you know so we're gonna say no you can't have it because uh it's lockdown period and no no you're not gonna have it. so that's the right to protest is gone right so the best way to do it is spread the word i guess through social media which i don't really like social media but don't have an organizer because as soon as the as soon as there's an organizer official organizing website uh, what do you call it, like a group, well then they get arrested and they get told no you can't have it, blah blah blah, and anything goes wrong they get blamed, blah blah, so just have it the people, right, so there's no um, official organising of a protest, we're just going to all turn up on the day and protest. I'm going to only get banned for this one. <laughs> our right to protest, not our right to ask you if we can protest. <laughs> they try and change it. And you know what? Oh, that's the Constitution. Oh, now that's the Supreme Court. How much is it going to cost you? Minimum, what, $30,000 for for Supreme Court? They get the top lawyers and everything. If they're confident they're winning or whatever, you've got to pay the court costs. I guess uh, just go bankrupt. I'm not, I'm not sure how you're going to do that, but you see my point. The right to protest, but you've got to ask permission whether you can protest or to the police. You've got to put it. No. That's not a right to protest. 
Alrighty, I might put this on my um, Rob Roscob channel. My Overflow channel. My second channel. Let me know what you think. Uh, what are we going to do about this? Um, in Australia, we, we've got we've got one or two deaths. They're locking down borders. Um, businesses can't do business, etc. And have you ever heard anything more ridiculous than a deadly virus? You've got to go and get tested to see if you've got a deadly virus. And also, you, you're driving your car. If the virus was so deadly... If the virus was so deadly, well, then you shouldn't be driving your car, right? Am I wrong? But everyone lines up in their car. Oh, let me get tested for it. And they, oh, you've got it. Yeah, you've got it. But you're not dying from it. Pass on the next person. They're not dying from it either. We all know this. And not many channels can get this out because they're stopping us, right? simple things I mean I don't need to tell you not stupid you know exactly what I'm talking about the problem is you can't put this way the per the people who've got the first thing is about 18 percent now in Australia they push it on the news and all these morning shows and local news and TV uh, six o'clock news oh you're the odd one out because you haven't got it no 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 you're in the minority if you have taken the jab not the other way around, right? You need to um, dig deeper on the internet. I was watching a video on band.video. If you want to check that site out. Not band.com, band.video. Now, you're going to have to put it in your browser because it won't show up in Google. So put it in your browser, band.video. Now, there's a doctor's on there. UK, I think it is. You can you can look up this yourself. It's killing your immune system off. One sixth of the immune system you had before you had the jab. That's what it's boiling down to. So they're predicting now that if you take the second jab and your immune system is one sixth, you're going to have to have a backup shots monthly, right? I personally have not been to a doctor. For, I mean, I've had a few um, broken bones and things like that, but me personally haven't been to a doctor since ooh, early to mid 90s. There you go. So I ain't getting a jab unless I really have to. And guess what? Vaccine passport. Okay, they're going to force you to force you to get the jab before you can travel or do everything don't worry there's, there's going to be a black market for that sort of thing just just wait don't worry about it you'll be able to get one someone in the government there'll be a loophole somewhere or they're really going to get banned for this one now freedom of speech right you should be able to talk about any topic you want I'm talking, I'm not showing violence or any other illegal activity. All I'm doing is talking. Freedom of speech, right? Exactly what we want and everybody wants in the world, right? The right to express your opinion, whether it's wrong, right, seen by other people, it doesn't matter. And you, and, and you know what? When someone says something really crazy and loopy, that guy's kind of loopy. I'll just go to somewhere else and watch something else. But when you're stopped for telling facts, well, then that freedom of speech is totally wiped out by governments and private companies like Google, YouTube, Facebook. I mean, why have a social platform that is, okay, I've seen videos on Facebook where someone's been shot dead and it, ta it takes about 
a few hours before that video is removed. It's removed by because of the people watching it report it. Whatever happened to employing people on your fucking Facebook channel? I shouldn't have sworn then. Now I'm going to have to tell Google that I swore in my video. Whatever happened about employing people? When someone posts a video, you have to check it first. Otherwise, your kid or whatever might see something that you don't want to see before the people on the, on the channel on the they watch it, report it, and then, you know what? They still don't even look at the video. If 20 people or 30 people from different IPs report something, they just stop the video, right? And that's how people, when they talk about, say, a race or something, they just get, they just get, the video gets deleted because there's groups out there that are getting together and saying, oh, I've got a new video, I want to stop this guy post report it you report it and it's a group and it's the freedom of speech is gone because it's just as soon as it gets reported 20 30 40 50 100 200 300 400 times well i don't know the figure but there's groups out there they get together and stop just by reporting a video because they don't like that view get what i'm saying facebook for instance don't have anybody looking at the video. They don't employ anybody. Billions of dollars they're making a year. And they can't employ someone to look at a video and say, no, no, that video is okay. Why would you report that video? Well, we've looked at it. Just employ someone. Employ 100 people. Right? And those people looking at the video, no, no, nothing wrong with that. Tick, bang, can never be deleted. But sure enough, 50 fucking retards report a video because they don't like that the way that what people are saying in the video or the other way if someone is violent on the video shooting a death or whatever they nudity or whatever then why should it be up to your kid or whoever hundred thousands of kids might even see that video before it gets reported it should be looked at first before it's posted Employ people. Okay? That's the way society is going. If you've got enough people that, that don't like a certain channel, certain person, certain religion, or any, anything, they they form a group. They they tweet it, they tweet the, the message or oh, report this. Don't even look at it. Just just report it. And it'll be taken down. For the simple fact that's been reported 500 times. My cat's going crazy. <laughs> Just down here, the back of my house here. Uh, bring my cat down here every afternoon. I should have more of these rants. I'm not sure if you if I get enough comments and likes and things like that, I'll do more rants like this. Put it on my second channel. What I'm telling you is, you you all already know all this. You don't have to tell me, but this won't be seen. This gets buried, right? The more people that like, I've been watching this dude from Melbourne, Rukshan, the real Ruk, real Rukshan. Go and check him out. I don't mind supporting anybody. Real Rukshan, he's getting away with some stuff that he'll probably get banned, right? Because he's got the alternative view on things. Or real footage. But they don't like that. Right? They don't want you to see the real footage. Alright guys. Give me a thumbs up and a like. If you want me to talk about this shit. I'm not going to... Yeah, well this channel's not monetized anyway. So... What, but what happens, they've got this new clause in the back of end of YouTube, you, you post a video, I'm get, probably getting a lot of wind here. Oh, you, you post a video, right, and yeah, you have to tick boxes whether it's got language in it, etc, etc. I'd say yes to everything, and uh, make sure you're signed in as an adult, and you'll be able to see videos, that's the key, right, otherwise they won't show up. So if you do sign in, to uh, YouTube, you get to see adult content, 
etc. Will adult channels will come up. So there's a tip for you. All right, Rob Roscoe. Still getting over winter here in Australia. Uh, got down to six o'clock morning in the morning. The other morning it was eight degrees outside in the in the car, which is cold for here. I mean Queensland, it's cold. It still gets up to 20, 21 degrees in the uh, daytime, but in the morning. All right, like and subscribe so I can do more of this sort of stuff. Get the message out there. Let's fight back. Rob Roscoe.